Hello everyone. Well, I talked to Masterbuilt yesterday, uh, Monday the uh, 20, 20th. Again, really happy with their customer service. They've been really good to work with on, on every issue I've had with this smoker. Uh, <clears throat> so before I do anything else, I'll cut to, I recorded the phone's conversation, so I'll cut to that now. Holding. How may I help you? Uh, yes, ma'am. Um, I bought a smoker from you back in uh, February 18th of 2013, and uh, it's well, the, the warranty is now expired. But uh, I'm having issues with it again, and uh, want to talk to you about that and see what we could do to get it fixed. Okay. Do you? Um, okay. Have you said you purchased it directly through us, sir? No, I purchased it from Cabela's. Did you get any parts to us, sir? What's that? Any parts to us, or? I have. I have gotten parts from you. After um, it was nine months old, it quit working on me, and I got a control panel and a heating element from you. Okay, let me have your zip code, please. Just one second, please. <clears throat> Okay, I can tell you exactly. The meat probe uh, the, that originally came in the smoker quit working right away. It was kind of my it was my fault. I was doing a turkey, and my hands were greasy. And I went to pull the meat probe out of the bird, and my finger slipped back onto the uh, onto the electrical connection there where it meets the thermocouple, okay. and uh, it pulled the wires out. And I never was able to get that fixed, even with the meat probe that uh, you sent out. Uh, it looks to me like I don't know exactly how to change that out. There's there's no like just simple plug because uh, the the meat probe itself runs into the side of the housing on the smoker and it's not accessible. Model number is 2007-0512. Yes, ma'am. Different meat folks for that unit, but tell me what's going on with it right now. Right now, um, over the weekend, it's kind of the same thing that happened before. Uh, I was preheating the smoker. I was going to do some chickens, and uh, I let it preheat for roughly 40 minutes um, at 250 degrees. It got to about 230 was a maximum temperature. It would not climb above that preheating. Had to get the chickens in the smoker because I was on a time restraint. Uh, go ahead and put the birds in. The temperature dropped to about 210 and would not climb above that um, for the rest of the smoke. I actually had to wire up my own heating element that I had and put inside of the master built to get the temperature back up. And it's, you know, I replaced the, uh, the uh, element February 6th of, of this year. And I have not used this smoker, you know, more than a dozen times throughout the summer. Um, and so that's, that's pretty low life expectancy. What is your life expectancy on, on these units? On the units or the element? Well, let's just say the element to start with. Element, you would want to, I would advise to change them out about every year. Years. Okay, I'm only I'm not even getting nine months out of one. Originally purchased this, sir. What's that? You originally purchased this. Did I originally purchase the element? Ma'am? Hello? Yes, are you there? Hello. Are you there? Hey, hello. Okay, I'm barely hearing you here. Okay. When did I originally purchase it? I purchased it uh, February 18th of 2013. And from where? From Cabela's. Okay, 
Okay, one moment, please, okay? All right, thank you. Yes, ma'am. 00705 again. <clears throat> Ma'am, I can barely hear you. Please speak up just a little bit. Okay. Just to confirm, your model number is 20070512. Yes, ma'am. Okay. More than likely, what we're going to need to do is replace your body for the unit, which is the outer casing of the smoker. Um, and we can replace that. However, we would have to charge on shipping. Okay. Can we ask why? What? What leads you to believe that's what needs to be replaced? Okay, at this point, we've sent you the controller on top, the element control, and for it to be having power malfunctions and heat malfunctions with the variant, um, we would need to go ahead and replace the internal wiring, but it's only located in that body. Uh-huh. So we would need to replace that for you. Okay. Um, I can tell you right now that... Uh, you had sent out a control panel on, uh, uh, it was, I received it January 24th of, of this year, and over the weekend I did replace that. Um, the, the original one was going wacky on me, it was turning on and off and not working correctly. Uh, so I replaced that on Saturday, and, and that made the smoker work again but it never would come all the way up to temperature now the element last time the element went out uh, it wouldn't turn red it wouldn't get glowing red but it still is glowing red so do you, does that tell you any indication do you think it could be the temperature probe itself no sir the heat sensors the main heat sensors are inside the body Okay, now that brings up a question for you. Um, can are those easily changed out? Can, are those a plug and play type of a uh, thermocouple? The body kit is everything except for the cooking grate, door, and the control panel on top. So essentially, it's a new smoker. Okay. Um, okay. Just uh, I'm actually recording this call. I'm a YouTube guy, and I have quite a following on smoking videos. Okay. Um, and I'm recording this call for for the consumers out there who have asked me how the customer service is and the product is through Masterbuilt. Um, could would you give me some prices? Let's just say that I was buying a new element control panel, the different pieces that could possibly go out on me. Can you give me prices on those uh, so we kind of know what to expect? Okay, uh, digital control is twelve ninety nine. Um, I'm sorry, it's twenty three ninety nine. The element is nine for twelve ninety nine. The body kit replacement, which you'll need again, that's we can send it no charge, but we have to charge shipping. Okay, how much is shipping on that unit? Of course, that will depend on my zip code, obviously. Um, you're in Idaho. Yes, ma'am. I'd have to calculate that, actually. Okay, well, that's okay. We don't need to go into that. Um, well, great. I'm glad you guys are willing to stand behind your product here. That's that's great. I know my uh, subscribers will really enjoy hearing that as well. Uh, so I'm going to... What information? What other information do you need here? Well, first I need your email address. Okay, I'm going to turn the recording off. Okay, so you heard the phone conversation. It went well. Uh... Like she was saying there, uh, she was going to send me an email telling me everything that needed to be done and uh, what to do. So this morning, yeah, this morning I received an email from him on what I need to do and what I, in order to get my new smoker body. At this point, I don't know exactly what the smoker body consists of. I think it's pretty much everything but the grates in the smoker, the racks. And I'll read the email that uh, they sent. We regret the inconvenience you have, ha you have experienced. We will replace your smoker body. We do not require the old smoker back, but we do need you, need you to please send the cord, in parentheses it says cut the power cord, and send one of the silver data plates, one of these two, uh, locate on the back of the smoker. Upon receipt of those parts, we will send out your new replacement body. So it sounds like all I need to do cut the cord.
cord. And remove one of the silver data plates. I'll use a drill. These are riveted on. So I'll just use a drill. There it is. One of the silver data plates. So it looks like I send those two things in. I don't know what that sticker is. Anyway, I send those two things in and uh, pay for shipping on the return new body of the smoker, and I get a new one. Again, I can't say enough about the master built customer service. Very pleased with it. So there again, don't let this this deter you if you're planning on buying a master built smoker. Yes, I have had some issues, but they've been million, more than willing to work with me on it. So uh, thanks for watching this video. I'll make a follow up video when I receive the new body and show you what all comes with the new body replacement and go from there. Thanks again for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think underneath this video.